right, hey guys, um, something real quick. Uh, we're working on a laptop tonight, and I know that I said that I would be doing a video about a uh, um, cell phone tech uh, net worth and stuff like that. Uh, but there's been some things that come up in my life that's kind of put that on hold, but that is coming. Uh, but anyway, this little short, short video, uh, this is about a Toshiba laptop. Uh, specifically, it's an A105-S171, and it's BIOS password removal. And over here, I have a Toshiba A105 uh, password removal. Now, there's a lot of other videos out here, and I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail, but basically, back here, there's a jumper setting. Um, that uh, you know that you can do this and do that, and remove the RAM, and plug up this, and plug up that, and, uh, uh, you know, unplug the power cable, discharge it, hold a screwdriver to it, and all that other nonsense. Um, the the easiest way to do this is just like this. Okay, what you do is you power the laptop off. It doesn't matter if you leave uh, RAM in, hard drive in, or anything like that. And what I've done was I just powered it off, and I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but right here underneath the RAM, there's two little solder joints. And on this particular model, it's something something 500. Uh, but that's that's actually your jump. Now, the thing um, about holding a flat tip screwdriver to it while you're trying to power it on hold it for 30 seconds or five minutes or whatever that some of that actually calls for the thing about that is is there's a layer of a uh, some of them have silicone some of them have like a corn syrup type um, uh, uh, rosin over top of the board so what appears that you may be making contact trying to make you know um, continuity uh, jumping it it's not actually happening. Um, so you either have to scrape it off and, and hold steady hand and do this and patience. The easiest way to do it is do it like this. Just go ahead and clean a little bit of a surface. Go ahead and add a little bit of solder. Jump those two. Now, I don't know if I can do this on cam, but I'll be right here. Okay. Uh, I've got my solder iron. I've got my solder iron and i got my solder. I'm just going to jump. It's just like that. Uh, and uh, I've left the power cord in. I've left the hard drive in. I left, I left the RAM in. And it's right here. I know this is terrible. Yeah, right, right, right there. Just below the center of my finger. I just made a little solder joint. And I just put those two together. And uh, then at this point, um, all you want to do is turn it on. That power button is wanting to stick a little bit. And, but yeah, just power it on. Uh, and that's it. Um, you don't have to, uh, on, on, on a lot of these, you don't have to do it. Well, hold on. Power button is the. <laughs> there we go. Um, but you don't have to try to maneuver a whole lot of things or hold a screwdriver to stay to it. Looks like this one was shut down incorrectly, but that's all right. But nevertheless, um, what you do is you you boot normally. Um, shut it all the way down. Now, uh, and then just wick, take that solder joint off, um, and then you're good. Or you can leave it on. You'll just never be able to, you know, if you wanted to add your own password, you know, like a BIOS password, it, it would never save. It, it, it just, it's either like, that's a binary code thing in the system. It, you know, it's either on or it's off. Uh, it, if it's open, 
then it's on. If it's closed, then it's off. So what I've done was I closed it, and basically a BIOS password will never be set on this, or never can be. You can set it, but it won't save it. Uh, but anyway, it's not going to hurt to leave it the way it is, but if you're a client or customer, or maybe it's your own, if you want to uh, you know, set it, you can, but you have to wick it, and then just remove that solder joint. And uh, if you're not familiar with with, with the uh, term term wick, it's uh, how to. It's just one way to desolder. It, it's just a copper mesh, and you lay it over top of your solder, solder joint, heat it up, and the copper mesh just sucks the solder out of. It. So anyway, thank you for watching. Hope that helped. See you later now. Bye.